the uh, research program started in the year 2000 uh, when we saw a request for application from the uh, Office of Naval Research for uh, ideas around advanced warfighter protection strategies that could help uh, soldiers in combat. And it didn't take long before we came up with face transplant as a way to treat the soldiers who've been hurt with IEDs in Iraq. And that really birthed the research program that's lasted over the last 10 years. The research program has really opened doors for us uh, scientifically because we had this aha moment about four years ago. We were in a lab meeting in my office and we're looking at the data and I'm going, these animals are having acceptance of these transplants with ridiculously low amounts of immune suppression. And we just like, why is this? And when we really look carefully at the data, the animal recipients of these transplants had cells from the donor in their bloodstream, a state we call chimerism, that really shouldn't be there. There was no reason for it that we could explain. Typically, when you want to do a bone marrow transplant and get chimerism, you have to give a person either nearly lethal radiation or chem chemotherapy drugs that destroy their own immune system and bone marrow. Well, we hadn't done any of that. We'd just done a vascularized transplant. So how we came to understand how that worked came from an incredibly novel idea of taking the bone from a mother and transplanting it into her child to replace the femur and the lower leg of a bone of a mother would just fit perfectly. So we adapted an animal model to be just like our face transplant model. And we did the exact same transplants, but they didn't work. They rejected immediately under the exact same conditions where we were getting acceptance of the jawbone in these face transplants. And so we said, well, why would that be? Exact same conditions, but they're not working. So we analyzed the amount of bone marrow in the bone in the lower leg and compared it with the amount of bone in the mandible. And it was 30 to 1. The mandible's very rich. It's a very rich spot for bone marrow. And the leg bone had almost none. And that was the aha moment. We go, it's the amount of bone marrow in this vascularized bone and the whole environment of the bone that is allowing this person to accept it and become chimeric. Why is chimerism important? Because if you can make someone chimeric, usually they're also tolerant to a transplant. And from that, we realized we had an opportunity now to change the immune system using vascularized bone. So now we have an opportunity to take the next two grants we just got, and we just got two more grants from the Department of Defense that total about four and a half million dollars. We're gonna take those grants and now study ways that we can combine a vascularized bone with a standard organ transplant. That might mean, if our research pans out the way we think it's going to, that we could take, say, a vascularized rib, which is also full of marrow, and transplant that with a kidney and achieve a state of chimerism and tolerance, meaning perhaps no immunosuppressive drugs or a radical reduction in the amount of immune suppression so the patients can get their transplant and feel completely normal because they don't have to take so much immune suppression. So this is the avenue of research that the whole face transplant opened up, but we didn't expect that. And it was a, this, as we were trying to build this model to, so that we could safely do a human face, and we did. We've had this collateral finding that was so impactful and is now leading to other grants and a whole new round of research that we think is so exciting.